Hello and welcome. Now we have very strict rules about what is and what is not allowed on our track. And this week, um, we're ignoring them. Here's the rule breaker. It appears to be a normal BMW 5 Series. Until you start it up. Yes, Lucifer has come to our little world of milk and petrol. For the first time ever, we have a diesel on our track. Why? Well, BMW say that the diesel engine in this car is not just more economical than the equivalent petrol engines, but more powerful as well. They say it'll get you from 0 to 60 in six seconds, and that it's so fast at the top end, they've had to peg it back to 155. That sounds like a bold claim, so to see if it really is possible, I had to come on to our 1.7 mile runway, carrying as much speed as I possibly could. Let's find out. Yes, that's so much we've lost the camera. That's got it. On at 50 miles an hour, foot hard down. It doesn't feel electric, but it is relentless. 95, 100. That Jag diesel I drove around the Nürburgring, all the power from that came in one big lump. And then we were out of revs at 4,000. This revs right up to 5,000. 120! 125, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, that's 140, come on! 145 miles an hour! I'm running out of runway. There is no doubt in my mind this is a 155 mile an hour car. <laughs> so how have they managed such a remarkable feat? Now, obviously, I appreciate that lots of you aren't going to be particularly interested. So, on the left-hand side of the screen now, we have some fluffy kittens for you to look at. OK, now, anyone can make a big three-litre diesel engine like that, produce a lot of power, you just give it a big turbo. But if you do that, you have a lot of turbo lag. Put your foot down, nothing, 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 and then it girds its loins, and then you go. So what BMW have done is given it a small turbo no lag, and then as the revs build, a big turbo kicks in. So it's got like two turbochargers, little one, big one. Of course, a diesel engine has to be made from steel, which means it's going to be heavy. So to stop the front of the car from sagging, BMW have had to toughen up the suspension. The thing is, though, that this big heavy engine and the altered suspension don't really seem to have affected the handling unduly. Bit of a pudding, but what big saloon car isn't? There's more good news, too. At less than £40,000, this is 10% cheaper than the equivalent petrol model. And obviously, it's cheaper to run as well. After half a day and 100 miles on the track, we found it had done 12 miles to the gallon. I know that sounds terrible, but out here doing this, it's not bad at all. And then there's the question of noise. At 70 miles an hour, a petrol-powered V8 5 Series BMW, and I know because I've tested this, is producing 70 decibels. So using this health and safety ometer here, let's find out how noisy the diesel is. OK, let's just build it up to 70. I'm going to have to shut up now to get a reading. Here we go. That's amazing. It's only 66 decibels. This is actually a little bit quieter. The news just keeps getting better and better. The 535D is cheaper to buy than the petrol version, cheaper to run, quieter, and so far as I can tell, just as competent in the bends. But now it's time to answer the big one. Round our track, could this new diesel keep up with its petrol-powered brother? And this is the full banana. The four and a half litre V8. So, what do we think? 
The petrol car has more brake horsepower, it's a little bit lighter, and it has the Stig at the wheel. The diesel will have me at the wheel, but it has 416 torques. That's 80 more torques than this has. It's actually 50 more than you get from a Ferrari 360. Here we go. Well, my foot's welded to the floor here, and as you can see, the petrol car has roared off to an early lead. Oh, both slithering a bit here. Come on, come on, come on, you big pudding. He's just got so much more power coming out of that corner, even though I've got all the torque. Oh, nearly got in there, though. Oh, he's gone a bit wide there. He'll get through on the inside. Come on, come on! Whoa, fish tailing, I don't need that. This is good, OK? This is relentless and smooth and amazing for a diesel, but it just lacks the crispness and the electric response that you get from a petrol car. And so, is the new diesel really as fast as the V8? Well, here's the finish line, and here's the answer. Miles to the gallon. Then. I did. In yes. a diesel. Yes. Right. The track is a thirsty place. And remember the Ford GT? Yes. Four miles to the That's gallon. That's true. And a new record was set the other day with the uh, Mitsubishi Evo 8, the FQ400. Yeah. 3.6 miles to the gallon. Out. 3.6. Yeah. Anyway, look, forget the economy. Not important. What I want to know is how fast this will go round our track when it's dry and when it's got a stig at the wheel. Right, away he goes. Tyres smoking under the mighty falls of all those torques. Down to the first corner. How's it going to look through there? Ooh, a bit of understeer on the way in. Doesn't sound too sporty, but looking pretty neat so far. Ah, oh, yes, Stig particularly happy today because he's just been given the new album by Camel. And this car is so quiet he can hear every last noodly synth styling. Here he is into the hammerhead. Heavy diesel engine could mean serious understeer. No, Stig's kicked the tail out. Look at the inside tyre smoking. This car could really do with a limited slip there. Here's the follow through. Yeah, lots of composure through there. Looking well, quite unspectacular, actually. Probably being quite economical, though. Two corners left. Here we go, last one. That's very good. Dragged round by the anvil in the nose. Slithering into Gambon and across the line. Yes, look at it. I have the time. I have the time. And it is. I have the time here and it is 1 minute 31.8. Hey, that's not... That's very, very good, That's the same as a Nissan 350, that thing you like, that Datsun with a yeah, Renault engine. It's a very nice same car. as a Mazda RX-8. A diesel is faster than a Focus RS. I am now officially going to shoot myself.